Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at this brand new 2024 Grand Surveyor 268 FKBS travel trailer. This is a two slide out front kitchen travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this RV, show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Grand Surveyor 268 FKBS here. We're going to get started up here in the front kitchen living room area here. So as you can see, there is a, a lot of counter space here in this front kitchen section. Quite a bit of storage and drawer space. There is a windshield on the front of the RV, kind of overlooking that area has a pull down blind there. High rise sprayer faucet, large undermount sink. Window back there behind your stove does open. It's got a propane oven and three burner cooktop. Furion hood range light and fan, Furion microwave, Furion sound bar. Currently using the Hisense flat screen TV there. The unit has all vinyl floor throughout the RV. You have a little high top bar area right over there. There is a tire pressure monitoring system standard on the RV, Goodyear Endurance tires, aluminum wheels. You'll see that good stuff when we get outside there. You have the 12 volt Furion refrigerator, really nice three seat uh, sofa here that does have recliners on each end. You can flip that center armrest up and get a third seat out of it if you needed to. Some cabinetry space up here. It's also pre-prepped for the wine guard connect system. But you do have a little shock assist on your doors here. Digital thermostat over there for your ducted Furion AC up here. Propane leak detector down there. Has a central, uh, central vac down there with the dust pan feature. Here you have kind of a little pantry area here, closet space, whatever you prefer to use it for. Back here is going to be your bedroom. So you have quite a bit of drawer space, electric fireplace here, nice size window. There's TV hookups up there, so you could put your TV up there if you wanted to vent up there and this one was wired for a second air conditioner if you do want that option it drops in right here in this area you have your bed area on a slide out as well this raises up so there is storage underneath the here there's a motion light under there as well window on each side of the bed does open some overhead cabinets usb charger ports and electric outlet on each side of the bed as well Over here, you got your electric box with your breakers and fuses. There is a little bit of hanging closet space up there. Some more shelf space. This thing has a massive bathroom back here. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Lots of cabinet space underneath it here. Dual vanity setup, mirrors, medicine cabinets. Another vent up top. The window on the back here does also open. There's a little more space here for some towels and linens too. And you have your step-in shower, ABS tub surround, pull across final door. There is a little skylight up above. Now over here you're going to have a large closet as well. These are removable or adjustable shelves. You have a hanging bar up there as well if you wanted to use this as a large closet. Or if you really want, you could do washer dryer hookup right here and put you maybe a combo washer dryer or a stack washer dryer in here. A 
Over here on this side, you're going to have your on-demand water heater controls, water pump, monitor panel, 12-volt tank heaters for cold weather camping and stuff as well. So a pretty nice couples style coach here with a lot of room for bedroom and bathroom space. A little bit of room for your living space and kitchen area up here as well. All right, let's step outside here. I want to show you around the outside. So on your way out, you're going to have these heavy-duty Lippert solid steps. These steps are rated for 400 pounds. You have that black safety glass entry exit door on this as well. It has a white fiberglass exterior attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material instead of the cheaper wood Luan backer. You have a large power awning here, LED light strip built in, adjustable arms, and manual override in the front arm head. It has power front and rear stabilizer jacks along with a power hitch jack as well. A little motion light in here, cap light switch. You can see some of the uh, little space here. You have magnetic catches for your baggage doors here. Stove exhaust vent up there. Moving on back here a little bit, you got a couple outdoor speakers, traditional porch light. You have aluminum wheels, Goodyear endurance tires. It is drum brakes, easy lube hubs, and again, that tire pressure monitoring safety system on there as well. There is TV and electric outlet hookup right here. So if you wanted to hook up a TV out here, you could. You're going to have the on-demand water heater here and your gravity fill fresh water tank fills up right here as well. So you can take some water with you if you don't have full hookups at your site. You're going to have the uh, fresh water tank drain there. There's a gas line hookup down here by those jacks. So there is a little portable griddle that goes here and a little dump sink that also drops in here. You have a cold water spray port right here and then you got your mini fridge there as well. Traditional flat back fiberglass rear end back here, four inch squared to bumper, spare tire mount cover. There's a two inch hitch receiver back here, so you could maybe put a bike rack here. It is not a towing style hitch, so don't try to tow something with it. Uh, up top there, you have prepping for the Furion rear observation camera. That is a nice safety feature to consider adding to your RV so you can see what's going on when you're driving down the road or backing into your campsite. Let's check out the roof here. You can see things up here as far as like skylight, roof vents. There is the air conditioner way up there, TV antenna way over there, and two 200 watt solar panels on this one as well. There's room to expand it to an additional 200 aftermarket if you want. But very important to get up there from time to time and check out your seams and your seals all that type of stuff up in that top right corner right there you are prepped for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder it's a nice feature to also consider adding allows you to get up and down on and off your roof and you just throw that thing in the compartment out of the way when you're not using it now down here you're gonna have city water inlets black tank flush cable inlets detachable power cord and right there, you're going to have some dumping for the shower and bathroom toilet area right here. Does again have that enclosed underbelly. It is also prepped for Solair slide toppers. Those are a nice thing to also consider adding to an RV. They help shade the rooms. They repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff. You can see this big RV over here already has them on it. So if something like that interests you, talk with a salesperson about maybe adding something like that on too. Little storage area right here goes underneath of your bedroom. A little bit of gap space here in between your slides. Now up front here, you're going to have the other side of your storage compartment. 
some really important informational stickers right here. So you're going to have your production date sticker here, basically telling your production date, your model number, and then it's also got your gross vehicle weight on it. This unit was 9,681 pound gross weight. That's the most you can load it up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Don't exceed that number. The actual unit when it rolled off the assembly line is 7,059 pounds. Exterior length, 32 feet. Tire size, ST22575 R15 E-range tires with an 80 PSI cold. Now right here you can see on the front you have a nice three-quarter fiberglass front cap with that windshield in it. You also have that LED light strip there as well. Power tongue jack, 2 and 5 16 hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains. You have a breakaway cable, two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard cover. There is a battery disconnect here. That little yellow thing is the repeater for that tire pressure monitor. And then there's room for one or two batteries to go back here. Um, if you purchase from Couch's RV Nation, it comes with at least one. The little pet friendly leash latch holder there, which a lot of people like to hang their safety chains on. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind helping out my channel. And as always, please remember to check out the folks at Couch's RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. It was actually the number one selling RV dealer last year. So be sure to check them out. Thanks again.